and find a way, oh boy, a way to employ myself. And the only way of doing that that I can see is using my vlogs and the podcast. But my plan to get there is A. Number A or letter A. Whenever I am out in public somewhere, little boy, out in public, I will film everything everywhere. Like absolutely everything. Like a few things I filmed were absolutely garbage. Because the people will be like, be like, hey, what are you filming for there? And then They'll get all inquisitive, like, oh, what are you doing? Filming this. Which brings us to P. P. After enough people get all inquisitive about that, I'll be, I will tell them, not, well, not just the people who are wondering, but also other people too, like her, her, and any other passerbys, you know, if there's anyone else. I walk by so that they will then go on YouTube and watch my stuff. Oh boy, my stuff. And then it's last and see is do um, more stuff of what I do in the vlogs and advertisements. So for instance, if it was a custom clothes day, I would make the whole piece of a clothing and then wear it around wherever, you know, wherever I am going. So that the people will be like, ooh, oh shit, where did you get that? Then I uh, would be like, I made it. And then we would go from there. You know, that would be better. And that's the first goal, is just basically advertising my stuff. So, and then second, number two, is I want my own version of that Maxine calendar. Oh boy, how such, such pretty ladies in it. I counted because a while ago, you know, several years ago, Maxine, oh Maxine, stopped making it. And I was like, I was like, um, uh, and I liked it because it was different. Yeah, it was different from all those other calendars with girls, you see. Because um, most of those hot girl calendars are just girls in their bikinis and women. That's kind of boring, regular. But the maximum ones were girls that still had their clothes on, but they were looked sexy with their clothes on. And like, and if you want any others, just look at the Maxi magazines, you know, they still have their clothes on and they're not like bikini bottoms. And it's just good. So, like, yeah, okay, we did that. And yeah, just look at that and you'll see what I mean. So, for those kinds of girls in that calendar is what I, me, I want to bring back. And to do that, I either contact Maxi and be like, why don't you make that calendar again, please, please, because it was so nice and different. Or instead of contacting them, here's another idea. Once my picture day Saturday kicks off and I have at least, you know, a thousand people liking the pitch, put an ad on Kijiji saying I want to make a calendar like Maxim. Or, here's another idea, just say on my YouTube that I'm looking to make a maxing calendar. So, three, uh, the goal here is not being scared um, uh, of being wild in public like I am in camera. Because usually, usually, when I am out in public, uh, I am a quiet man who has always talked to someone like, hello, how are you doing? In a quiet little voice. But, 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 I can remember when I went to see Spider Man No Way Home and we got to the theater, theater, to scan a QR code. Oh boy, and I approached the guy doing the scan and I was all, how, 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 how you been? And it felt so much funner than just a normal hello. And plus, plus, when I'm around my mama, my mom, I act like that. So if I were to be acting like that around others, like I act around my mom, then fun times is what I would be having. But to get there is what I gotta do is um just jump right on in, you know, jump right on in, jump right on in, um. 
to that because, like I said in the past, the more that I hold on with these kind of things, the more and more fear that builds up and stops me from doing. So I guess I just gotta go ahead and do ahead and do right there and there. So, fourth, number four is saying things I want to say because sometimes, well, especially in those confrontal situations, I want to say something that will defend my position on it, but I just don't have the courage to say it. And that needs to change because I have already had a bunch of those things happen to me and I need to stand my ground in those kinds of situations and not get dragged. Does my nose bleeding? I don't get dragged along in the, you know, the current the current boy, who am I am defending myself against. But, 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 if it is not a confrontal situation and I'm just saying my opinion on something, I think whoever I'm going to say my opinion to, they might not like it. So then again, I must not be worried about disappointing them to do it. If, uh, and to do it is the same as three, just jump right in. What the thing? Here we go. So fifth is being a maker of things as a boy because I find working with my hands here uh, and shaping things and putting together so they are different from what they started to be so much fun because I am seeing something come together and take shape and I can be like yeah I did that I made that but also because I have a whole swack of all the tools over that I would love to see get to you. But where I live now, I can't really do that because if the people in my building here power tools like <laughs> um they would get all oh, uh, they would uh, they would uh, be like they would be that is uncurious plus I do not them want to make holes in the wall. So no so to do this, I must each week make something new with what tool I have. Then after a while this has gone by, so I understand this tool, get a new one, and build something new with that. Then after a while of that, I'll have gotten there. So, bleh! And six! Number six is my thank you for our stopping sign, which is a little on here. Um, because sometimes, when I cross the road, the people who stop for me, I would like to not just wave and say thank you, to say thanks, but um, uh, but pull that sign out and be like, point at the driver, and then point at the sign, and be like, hey, you guys, look at this, oh boy, look at that sign, and then hopefully that'll get done. Just you know, pull that sign, and be like, hey, look at that driver, look, 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 I got a sign here. Then seventh is to have a healthy body shape, which is thinner than I am now, because. Well, hang on a second. Because, well, just look at me. Because, what am I shit, man? Right. Because, well, one, when I am in one of my pairs of pants, my thick line ones specifically, and I go to sit down, something really nasty happens. And my butt shows up. And that's yicky. You don't know me now, man. But it does that because I'm too fat for those pants. Then, two, when I look at myself in the mirror, uh, after the shower, I see this big fat guy just standing up. I mean, look at me, I'm a big fat guy standing here. And I can just picture myself becoming wider and wider. And I'm not there, not there, not there, not there, not like that. And then, number three, a while ago, I saw a picture of me sitting next to my siblings, oh yeah, and I was the fattest of the bunch by a fair margin, oh yeah. And in my eyes, it just did not, did not, did not did look healthy. So that needs to change. And I will try by the morning, well, not at 7 30, but when the gym opens or when I'm done filming here, I will go down to the gym, regardless of what else I have going on that day, and do 10 minutes of electrical, 10 minutes of treadmill, we'll do then 100 bench push and 100 arm lifts and sit up. Boom! Then also, heat out here by not consuming so much junk and back stuff and starting to be healthier. But also, log my food, which I haven't done today, but I gotta remember to do that. So I can then keep track of my calories in versus calories out. Oh, yeah. Then eight, number eight, eight, yeah. I want, I'm a one, a better 
talking to people because usually when I'm having a conversation with someone, it is usually just short, very basic answers and not really saying anything into just like, yep, yeah, good, not really telling them why or go or details about it. Because when I'm in that situation and I do that, later on I think of a way better answer. Like they ask me a question, later on I think of an answer and for that question and I'm like, why? Oh why did I not answer with that? And then the way to do that is then to stop, you know, stop and think when someone asks me something and take a moment to think about um, what would guard it from the future say to things like that and not answer right away with something shallow and bleed but take a moment to think about an answer that is that is deep as a <coughs> with intriguingness the person who asked me something <coughs> the ninth and also a goal I have for this year like I've tried many times before, is to be extra. And you all know what that is because you heard my podcast about that. And to get there is the same as goal number three. And just to do it as soon as I think about it, to prevent what fear there is of getting any bigger and stopping me from getting there. Then there's a couple other goals, you know. Kenny, out of power, would be nice, but we've only got like one, one more year for that. So that, I don't know, we're going to try our best with that one, but I don't know how long that'll work because, you know, we're, we'll try, but you know, it's only one more year, so we'll, we'll see. And next election, I don't think very many people are going to vote for that right now, because, you know, he's, he's not very nice. Well, he's nice, but people don't like what he's doing, so <laughs> And then the other one, I don't want to say that right now, so <laughs> That's a neat goal, that's that I want to share with nobody. Then those there are some of my biggest goals for this year. But then, there are a few I have not discussed here, but I won't get into those because they're not as big as those nines I just talked about. So, boom. The next is the purchases I really want to get this year, which I better say, oh, I better say, I better say, they're kind of expensive. Well, some of them are more expensive than others, but, you know, we'll try our best to get them as well because they do not have a huge income, but they are the things I want badly, so I will try my best. Oh. And then first, number one, is a truck, but not just an inch, I don't know. I want a Ford Ranger, but a smaller, older one, because, well, one, the big ones are gas gouges and really expensive, and two, I do not, um, I, I do not want that. But smaller ones, you know, I have their more fuel, small and it's not bad. Plus, they have to have four-wheel drive, which is something you kind of need when I live here with the snow and whatnot. And because, you know, if you need to haul something big, like a refrigerator, or just a big like, thing of a like, container, you can do that because of open backs of And then to achieve this, I will A, look online for suitable candidates, Every week, oh yep, oh yep, oh yep, and B, be more diligent with my applying, but I, when I go to drop off a resume with who's ever at the desk, don't just drop it off there, but ask for the manager so they can introduce me and we can see each other, Blah. and then see, like I said, do what I do in the videos for money, yes, money, yes, yes, yes. And the second is an IMAC, an IMAC. And I'm talking about one of the ones with the M1 ships, specifically the green or the yellow one. I prefer the yellow, although green is my favorite color. It's not that nice of a green, I don't know. But I would like a more fat pad, the powerful computer to edit my TikToks on, and to uh, uh, do Blender. Because, well, I mean, be, yeah, Blender, but more so because of what it will mean to me. I mean, I have wanted one for so long, but I have never been able to get it because of, well, the money. money. I don't have enough money. And if I bought one in the store, uh, I am in now. It, I, I'm in, in the state I am in now. It would just not be the right thing to do. Be, do, and uh, I will achieve it because of reason B and C from the trucks. And that didn't do well. Yeah, you know, the computer because of a blender and all that stuff, so that, that stuff. And then three, number three, is a 
Gibson Explorer, oh boy, because well, wham, wham, it is so pretty looking, it's just the X, it's so pretty, and then two, I want to hold one of the best guitars in my hands, and on the last poll I've done, I want the Explorer, um, so that if I'm ever in a band, I can have the right stuff to make music, and to get it is the same from the trucks regions B and C. And then uh, what other is there any? Well, maybe another camera or so, maybe more camera batteries. But now those, those there are the purchases and um, the purchases and is uh, purchases and next is the resolutions and here they are with one exercise and more. Like I said earlier. I don't need to go on about that because we covered that exercise. And two, there's no more sitting around doing nothing. Do nothing. Do something. Because all the time I have spent sitting around nothing, I could have been doing something productive. And I look back at all that time and I'm like, why waste the time? Wait the time. And I'm especially particular about this one. Um, this one because I do not want to be a waster when I could be a doer. <laughs> then three, three is never go against my better judgment. Oh no, because well, the one time I was up at Londonderry Mall while leaving Londonderry in between the parking lot and the bus stop, there was a little hill of ice, and I went down and I think I'm gonna fall, but I went down it anyways. Well, I was going to go my dangerous way, and the stairs were my saver. I went down and I slipped and fell on my bum. <laughs> Then fourth, fourth, is no excuses for laziness. Because, for example, say you want something from a store and you know you can get there, but uh, you know someone who could get you there, but the person who could get you there, um, uh, if they... Uh, to get you there. If they ordered it online, it would come on like a day or so later after you could have it when you went to the store in person. But actually, let me rephrase that, okay? Uh, like, that, no excuse for laziness is that you know you could get to the store and get the thing today, but it was a crap day. But then someone else, they could get you to the store like tomorrow, or they could order it for you and it would come on a couple days later. But you could have it right then and there instead of waiting. So you don't have to be lazy about going out in the weather. That's been <laughs> ever. There, uh, there is also doing a half job at something, you know, because you, know, you don't want to do a half job. Then five is not let the weather hold me back unless, unless it is minus 30 or stormy or gross. And this kind of ties into the last one because you gotta go through the storm and get your thing and not be lazy and wait. Because, like I just said, you could, you could have got that item if you went out in, in the gross weather, rather than if you waited two days ago for it to pass to go and get out. Six! This is a gross one, everyone. It's about my lips here. I have a nasty tendency to pick my lips, and that is no more happening this year. I must stop because, well, I have a nasty habit to pick my lips, because they are dry and whatnot. And when they do, when I do, sometimes they bleed. And that is not a good oh no no. Especially with my playlist level, because they are low. Like the one time I can remember, I picked my lip and they bled for like an hour and a half. And then I was like, I'm just gonna go do something. And they still bled for another half an hour. So two hours. And, and I can't have that. Plus, it's pretty ugly, so it needs to stop, but mainly because of my platelets and it doesn't stop bleeding for a long time. And then seventh, as of writing this, on December 31st, 2021, at 11.49 a.m., that introvert version of me, the introvert, he is gone, 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 and the extrovert, well, I get the extrovert, we should have been answering here because my life as an extrovert, it would be so much funner. Because um, just take a social situation, for example, like when you're around a lot of people. See, when there's a large gathering of people, I retreat into a version of myself that is all quiet and scared. And, 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 uh, where were we? 
and not having a good time because I did not interact and trying to push people out. But here's the thing. If the opposite of that were to happen, then I sure tell, I would be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm having a good time, just based on the few little times that has happened before. Because, well, the one time, we were at my dad's house, and there's a whole crowd of people, my brother came out, he's like, hey, brother, and he got off city, and he liked it, so cool, they it. And then also, the one time me and my friend played a picture, and I'm like, ah, I like that, because we're being silly. So, eighth. And last, oh, I don't know if this is the last one or not, but eight is not being scared of filming in public. And this is a big one here. This is my biggest one I have here, which I have mentioned already. So that's good. You know that. That is a big one with me. The ninth and last is something I have mentioned in podcasts in the past. Karen with Bob is getting pictures of everyone I meet's ears eyes and their mouths uh, to expand the repertoire of those I have on my computer. Because right now, I only have about five or six of these as I'm born using the traditional ones. And I want to increase its excitement level and the interest level of that blue. Because now, like I said, it's only five or six and more makes it better. Those there are some of the resolutions, but, and plans and goals, you know, but there's a few more I did not say because they're not as big as the one I've had listed here today, so, bye, yeah, but now, whew, how are we going here? Wah. oh, actually, I haven't been dancing enough in that, so, that sucks, wah, That there was what I have set, set myself, myself for goals, resolutions, big purchases, and plans for the new year of 2022. And I hope you know, I hope this year of 2022. I achieve, I achieve them all, yep, them all, because as of our, uh, noon, noon, December 31st, 2021, I love me, back on the, um, uh, the 2021 gold blah, and everyone but one, one, it was my, 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 which makes me, moves me, because, because that's a tells me, me, I failed this year, 2021, whatever. Oh, 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 the fireworks, the fireworks, this is the power, 
podcast. Here is our New Year's podcast. So how can you? Here, twice day. I rest up with my love lemon. A podcast, a podcast, which I know I do know. Do I do I do I is the year, oh the year, the year, the year to flourish, flourish, because I will stick, stick, you know. To the planet, planet, and all the, 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 all even spaces, the thou, wow, wow, the be, oh, the be, low, because now, now, this is a okay, it's almost over, over, oh, 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 of course, of course, I hope you'll lay a lay a lay a listen to that and come for some stuff next time. What?